Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today we have in the driveway a beautiful Toro personal piece with electric start. The guy was very nice enough to give me the charger for it too. But the battery is almost dead. And it doesn't start. And thank God, that's why it's free. Hit it with some go-go juice. Let's see what happens. tells us a few things. Well, actually, one thing. Eh, you know what? Told us a few things. It's got a fuel issue because he most likely left gas in it. So this is going to be winner, winner, chicken dinner. By spraying ether in there, you can from compression, spark, um, air, or missing his fuel. So let's go get this thing taken apart and we will get this thing sorted out. All right, so we got this thing on the jack stand. You got four bolts. One, two, three, four. Should be five sixteenths. Two. And I think the other one is like some crazy, like seven thirty seconds or something. Let's see. That's a quarter inch, that's too small. It's actually 9.30 seconds. Come on. This one's a little tight. Come on. Got one out. Let's get the other. I think this is too fat. I have to get a socket. I've never had this issue before. I think this is too fat. What the hell? Yeah, it's too fat. <laughs> Never had that happen before. There we go. A little love. And it comes out. Here is our carburetor. Let's get some meat on those pliers. This out of the way. These are 90 degree. Here's that. Take this one off. have my vice grip. It's on another machine. That sucks. Alright. Pull this out forward. We're going to undo the two carb linkages. Turn it facing you. Pull out one. And pull out the other. Here is our carburetor. Golly. This guy really put gas in here. I think it would work. So anyway, we will get my pan. Alright, so we're going to switch back to our 5 16 Ooh, it's 9.30 seconds? What the? Alright, take two. Switch back to our 9.30 seconds and pull this car back. It's like a really rough day for me. Lord have mercy. Right. You could use a pocket knife or just a flat tip screwdriver and just pry towards one end. Here we go. Here's our carburetor. Very, very simple. Obviously, we know we're getting fuel full. The problem here is with this plastic jet. So, I'm just going to get a small flat tip screwdriver. We just got to pry this out like so. Here is our jet. Look at this. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Clean this out. Diaphragm. Right? 
just take a thin piece of wire and just run it through each hole that we have here. Okay, get compressed there. Our can of brake clean. Look, we got fuel flow. And we could confirm that right through here. Perfect. Let's, why not? Stick it in the hole. Fuel there. We got plenty of flow. That was actually a little. Yep, and we are good. This can only go in one way, so you don't have to worry about it. Now, I'm not going to pull the float off because, like I said, this thing was full of fuel. But if you wanted to, go for it. Ah, right here. Stick this in. That's it, it's our clean carburetor. Back to the machine. Okay. And we could start with this one first in the back. Slide this in. Tilt the carburetor towards us, like usual. And then stick that in there. And we are back in business. Look up our fuel line. And slide our hose clamp over. And then we can put our air filter housing back on because this air filter housing dubs up as holding the carburetor in place. If you guys remember, if you guys remember, 516 at 516 at the end. That's what holds the carb to the, I mean that's what holds the air filter base to the machine. And then these little 930 seconds hold the base to the carburetor. Throw some fresh fuel in there. Bring up the octane rating just a little bit. Now we're definitely gonna have to charge the battery. So let's just see what we got now. Fire in the hole. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So, pair of pliers to move the fuel line. I used a set of hose clamp pliers to remove the fuel line. Well, the other set. Here we go. I'm sorry. 90 degree for the clamp, which I prefer to use. You could use whatever you think is necessary. Set hose clamp pliers for the hose clamp, I mean for the fuel line. You could use whatever you want, but I feel those are non-abrasive. And then 9 30 seconds and 5 16 to remove the air filter base and the carburetor ball. And just a set of uh, a nice little 
What do they call that? I'm having a brain fart right now. Safety pen. To clean out the jets and a little bit of carb clean. And this free lawnmower, this thing is 300 bucks, brand new, plus tax, is running again. And I wonder... Yep, and the oil's clean too. Lovely. Lovely. So anyway, we're going to call this a wrap. Because that's what I like. Quick and easy. Clean this thing up. Put this thing up for sale. See you later. Love you. Bye. Alright guys, if you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and nope. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance. Later.